Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick look at the new Paranoid Android preview build. You can see here it's the Paranoid Android version 3.90. You'll also notice the build number is JSS and that's the latest AOSP branch. So it has all the latest comments and all the latest kind of, you know, improvements that we're going to have. And of course it's Android 4.3. So let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, so here we go. And the first thing I want to go through is what is working in this build. And like I said, it is a preview build. So there are a lot of bugs. There are some things that aren't working, which I'll talk about a little bit later. The first thing I'll mention is it does have that new touchscreen driver that just makes touching the screen a hell of a lot more responsive than it was on Paranoid Android 4.2.2. It's also running the AOSP build of the Android 4.3, which includes a lot more GPU improvements, so you should see a good improvement there in terms of your game, FPS and stuff like that. It should just be a little bit better. And yeah, Halo is working fine, so you can see you can activate it right here as normal. There's Halo. All the gestures are working, you know, it pings out like normal. You can hide it. If I just get a screenshot here, you can see Halo is working fine. Even the multitasking window on Android 4.3 is also untouched. You can see it here. If I tap it, I've still got that little window that pops up, so Halo's fine. Full screen mode is also working on this, so you can tap into full screen here. And Pi is also working. Pi does have a slight bug. You can see this persistent menu button here doesn't actually work. So again, that'll probably be fixed in a later build, but nonetheless, it's not working right now. If we dive into the uh, phone app right here, we can see that that menu button isn't working even in an app. So that I'm sure that will be fixed, but that's one of the problems right now that it isn't. I should also mention that it, this build doesn't come with the PA half-breed colors in the kernel. It is the stock Google colors. Again, I'm sure that will be, you know, included in a later build. Now, whoops. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Now, what doesn't work is the kind of PA prefs and the hybrid properties. Now, the hybrid properties actually do work, but the, P, the PA prefs can't control it. And what that means to me and you is basically we can't use the, uh, the the preferences and the hybrid controls to change the settings because we know that Android 4.3 changed a hell of a lot of stuff with root and it's causing havoc for all the uh, developers of custom ROMs. So for example, if I dive into the settings right here and I go to the settings and I say I want to change this out of the split screen mode. So you can see I can change the size and layout. Normally press apply. This would normally just do it all for me. You can see here it hasn't applied. You can see super user got into keychain but it hasn't written to the file and I'm still stuck with these. So right now the hybrid settings and PA preferences do not work on this ROM. Like I said, it is a preview. So just remember that that is pretty much the only stuff that really isn't working on this build. The rest of it is very fast, very fluid. The lags you've probably been seeing a little bit is due to the fact that I've been changing through full screen and out of full screen. And whenever you do that, it has to change the settings. So that's probably the little bit of lag you've seen. But nonetheless, it is a very fast build. Android 4.3, it's finally on Paranoid Android. I'm sure it will get a ton better. I'm sure they will fix all the bugs. But right now, this is what it is. You can still use it. All the stuff like the quick controls and the settings are working. You can see the quick pull down, which is a much needed feeder, uh, feature in stock Android. I really do miss that. Halo's working. Pi is working. Yeah, the only thing that really isn't working to a degree is the hybrid settings. But I hope they will fix that pretty damn soon. Nonetheless, it's Paranoid Android on Android 4.3. Peace out.